Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how I designed this beauty slash hair themed Shopify website. This website is perfect for beauty, hair, fashion, and many other business types. And this website is mobile responsive, so it looks perfect on desktop and mobile devices. And in today's video, I'll be using the softwares Shopify and Canva. If you're unfamiliar with Canva, you can set up a free account and create all kinds of graphics such as web banners and logos. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. First, you're gonna open up Shopify, then go to online store and then themes. When you scroll down, you'll see all of Shopify's free website themes. And I'm gonna be installing the original Dawn theme and this is gonna be the base for our website. Once that has installed, you're gonna click customize. And when you click this icon, it will show you how the website is gonna look in a full screen. And when you click this phone icon, it will show you how the mobile version is going to look. So first I'm gonna click on this header and under desktop content position, I'm gonna set this to middle center. That way the logo will be in the center of the header. When you scroll down and then scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. That is called a sticky header. And right here, I'm gonna be removing this effect. I'm gonna click on the announcement bar and I'm gonna be displaying the social media icons. When you click theme settings, then social media, here you can paste the links to your brand's social media accounts. When you do that, the clickable social media handles will display here on your announcement bar and on the footer of your website. Then I'm going to be removing the announcement bar text, but you can leave this in if you would like. Click colors, then open a color scheme one. I'm going to set this background to a light beige color. Then I'm going to change the text to a dark brown color. And I'm going to be changing the solid button background to a tan color. And I'm also going to set the outline button to that tan color. Click on logo and here you'll be able to upload your logo and your favicon image straight from your computer. I'd recommend that your logo is in a transparent PNG format. And under desktop logo width, you can increase the size of your logo. Then you're gonna open color scheme two, and I'm gonna set the background to a tan color, and I'm gonna change the text to white and the outline button to white. Click on the announcement bar, then apply color scheme two. I'm gonna open typography, and I'm gonna change the main font to sheriff. I'm also gonna change the secondary font to cap and bold. Once you're done, that is how I designed the header portion of the website. When people click catalog, it will take them to the shop all page of your website. And when they click contact us, it will take them to the contact form. If you'd like to create a more custom navigation bar, you can do that by opening your navigation bar settings, opening your main menu, and here you can add more menu items and retitle your current menu items. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the slideshow section. So here you're gonna click add section to template and I'm gonna import a slideshow. Then you're gonna remove this image banner. For the first page of the slideshow, I'm gonna remove the heading and the subheading and also remove the container. Under desktop content position, I'm gonna set this to bottom center and apply the outline button style. Then you're gonna set this to color scheme two. And then you can retitle this button label and paste the link to a page or a product collection within your website. Then I'm gonna repeat all of those steps for the second slide. And this slide is gonna be set to color scheme one. Click add block. I'm also gonna repeat all of those steps for the third slide. And under desktop content position, I'm gonna set this to bottom left. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed these slideshow web banners. All right, so I've opened up Canva and here I'm gonna click custom size. And the dimensions I'm gonna be doing are 4320 by 2160 pixels. I'm gonna set the background to a tan color. Then right here under upload files is where you can upload your brand pictures. I'm gonna be using Canva's background removal feature. This is a Canva Pro feature, so if you don't have Canva Pro, I'd recommend using a free background removal tool to remove the backgrounds of your pictures. I'm gonna upload a text box, change this to the color white, and apply the font Hamilton. Click effects, and I'm gonna apply the lift effect. Upload another text box, put this in uppercase, then apply the font Dream Avenue. Click Effects and I'm gonna be applying the lift effect. You're gonna duplicate this and create a smaller tagline text right below it. You're gonna duplicate this again and I'm gonna be creating a vertical text effect. And then I'm gonna duplicate this text box. And I'm gonna reduce the opacity of this. Click Add Page. I'm gonna set the background to a beige color. Click elements, then open up frames. And I'm gonna apply a square frame. I'm gonna duplicate this and position this to the back. Then you can drag and drop your pictures right onto those frames. I'm gonna upload a text box, put this in uppercase, 
then bold and then italic. And I'm gonna change this to a brown color. You're gonna duplicate this. That will create a small tagline text. And I'm gonna remove the italic effect. Upload another text box, put this in uppercase. I'm gonna change it to that brown color. Then apply the font Dream Avenue. Click add page. I'm gonna upload another image frame. Under shapes, you're gonna upload a square shape. Then position this behind the frame. Then you can drag and drop a picture. I'm gonna upload a text box. Then apply the font Hamilton. Upload another text box. Then apply the font Dream Avenue. I'm gonna upload one last text box. Put this in uppercase, then bold. I've searched for a faded element, and I'm gonna be uploading one of these. By the way, if you don't have Canva Pro, just make sure to use their free elements. This step is optional, but this will add a little bit of dimension to each page. Once you're finished, these will be our three web banners for the slideshow. You're gonna download each of these in a PNG format for the best quality. Back here on Shopify, you can click select image, then upload that main web banner. Under slide height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. Then I'm gonna set the pagination style to dots. Then you can upload the remaining banners. And once you're finished, that is how I designed the slideshow portion of the website. By the way, this Shopify theme template is available on my store. This is a fully pre-made Shopify theme template. And if you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that into your store with just a few clicks. It's already designed and laid out for you, so it's very easy to edit. This is a full template bundle, so it also includes all of the Canva templates that you'll see me creating in this video. I've designed all of these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva, so all you'll need is a free Canva account to open and edit them. There's also a step-by-step -step instruction guide included in case you need any help editing the Shopify theme. This Shopify theme template will save you a ton of time. That will be linked in my description box below. And also, in case you just don't have time to design your website, I do offer theme installation. So if you order this Shopify theme template along with my theme installation, I will install this theme into your Shopify store and customize it for your business. That will be linked in my description box as well. Next I'll be showing you how I designed the collection list. So here I'm going to be adding a collection list. Under heading you can retitle this section and I'm going to set the image ratio to portrait. You can increase the number of columns if you would like, and make sure to enable the view all button if you have more than three collections. Then when you click select collection, it will allow you to choose each collection you'd like to feature. Really quickly, if you're unfamiliar with collections on Shopify, a collection is just a category within your website that you've chosen to assign certain products to, that way you can keep your shop organized. I'm gonna be showing you how I designed those collection covers. Here on Canva, you're gonna click custom size. The dimensions I'm gonna do are 1179 by 1473 pixels. Click elements, and I'm gonna be uploading an image grid, and then I'm gonna upload a text box. Change this to the color white. Click effects, and I'm gonna be applying the lift effect. And I'm gonna apply the font Beautifully Delicious, and put this in bold. And you can title this the name of one of your collections. I'm gonna be duplicating this page twice to represent those three featured collections. Then you can drag and drop your pictures to represent each of those collections. Once you're finished, you can download each of these collection covers. Here on Shopify, when you open up a collection or create a new collection, right under image is where you can upload those collection covers. Once you're done, that's how I designed the collection list. Next, I'm gonna show you how I designed the About Us section. So here I'm gonna be adding an image banner. I'm gonna remove the container on desktop and the container on mobile. You're gonna remove the second button label. Then you can title the first button label and select a link. Then I'm gonna set this to color scheme two. Then you can insert your text. Here on Canva, you're gonna open up that same web banner page and click add page. I'm gonna set the background to that tan color. Then upload an image grid. Then you can drag and drop a picture. I've searched for another faded element and I'm gonna upload one of these and that will create a shadow effect for this image. I'm also gonna upload a faded circle. Then you're gonna upload a text box. Here you can type in the name of your business. Then apply the font authentic. And then you're gonna download this page. Here on Shopify, you can click select image, then upload that background design. Under banner height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. Then under image behavior, I'm gonna set this to a fixed background position. 
Once you're finished, that's how I designed the About Us section. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the Shop Qualities section. So here I'm going to be adding a multi-column. I'm going to remove the heading and remove the button label, remove the secondary background, and set the column alignment to center. When you click on a column, under heading, you can type in a quality that your shop has to offer. For an example, you can put quality materials or fast shipping. And under description, you can put a mini description to match. Then I'm going to set the color scheme to color scheme 2. Back here on Canva, you're going to open up that same web banner page and click add page. Under shapes, I'm going to upload a circle shape and change this to that beige color. Then you can search for an icon that you're going to upload to represent each of those shop qualities. I'm going to duplicate this page and you can upload beauty icons if you have a beauty website or fashion icons if you have a clothing website. Once you're finished, these will be our icons and you can download each of these. Then you can click select image and upload each of those icons. Under image width, I'm going to set this to half width of column. That is how I designed the shop qualities section. Next, I'm going to show you how I added the featured collection. So here I'm going to be adding a featured collection. Under heading, you can retitle this section. Then you can choose which collection you'd like to feature. Once you're finished, that's how I added the featured collection. Next, I'm going to show you how I added the customer review section. So here I'm going to add a multi-column. I'm going to remove the button label. Under heading, you can retitle this section. Then I'm going to increase the number of columns to 4. Then I'm going to set the column alignment to center. Under heading, I'm going to be pasting the star emojis to represent the customer's rating. Then under description is where you can paste in their review. I'd also recommend putting the reviewer's name and you can even insert a link to the product they left the review on. Once you're done, that is how I added the customer feedback section. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the image banner. So here I'm going to be adding an image banner. I'm going to remove this second button label. Then you can retitle this section and then title the button label. Back here on Canva, I'm going to click add page. I'm going to set this to that beige color and I'm going to upload an image grid. And then I'm going to upload a square shape. And then I'm going to duplicate this. And then you can drag and drop your pictures. I'm going to upload a text box and I'm going to apply the font Beautifully Delicious. And then I'm going to apply the lift effect. And then I'm going to duplicate this. Then you can download this page. Here on Shopify, you can upload that web banner. Under banner height, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the image banner. Also, if you are a beginner to Shopify and you're unfamiliar with how to add products, setting up your Shopify payment, reading your analytics page, and more, my Shopify basics guide is now available. This is a detailed guide that breaks down everything you'll need to know from setting up your Shopify account to launching your store. In the guide, I've included a collection of video tutorials, written text, and live examples so that you understand each section. This Shopify basics guide will be linked in my description box and be sure to use my code Beverly20 for 20% off your order. And next, I'm going to show you how I added the email signup and the blog post section. So here I'm going to be adding an email signup and I'm going to retitle this section. I'm also going to set this to color scheme 2. Then I'm going to apply a multi row. I'm going to be removing this third row, but you can leave that in if you would like. So these two rows will represent two blog posts that you're going to be featuring. Under heading, you can type in the title of that blog post and you can also write a mini description and caption to match. And then you can retitle the button labels and paste the link straight to that blog post. And then you can upload images to represent the covers for those blog posts. Once you're finished, that is how I added the email sign up in the blog post section. And last, I'm going to show you how I designed the Instagram post section. So here I'm going to be adding an image banner and I'm going to remove all of the text and the button labels. Then I'm going to add a rich text and I'm going to remove all of the text. Then you can retitle this button label and paste the link straight to your Instagram. I'm also going to apply the outline button style. Here on Canva, you're going to open up that same web banner page and click add page. I'm going to upload a text box and apply the font Hamilton. I'm going to upload another text box, put this in uppercase and apply the font Dream Avenue. Then I'm going to duplicate this text box and then I'm going to upload an Instagram icon. Then I'm going to open frames and upload a square frame. And I'll be designing this in a stair-step pattern. 
And then you can drag and drop your pictures. I'm gonna upload one last text box. And here you can type in your Instagram username. And I'm gonna apply the font Noto Sheriff and put this in italic. Once you're finished, you can download this page. Here on Shopify, I'm gonna click select image. Then you can upload that banner image. And under banner height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. Once you're done, that's how I designed the Instagram post section. All right, and here is the finished website. And as I mentioned, this Shopify theme template is available on my website. This is a fully pre-made Shopify template. It will save you a ton of time and it's very easy to edit. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that into your store. This is a template bundle, so I've included a step-by-step -step instruction guide to help you with editing. And it also includes all of the Canva templates that you've seen me creating in this video. I've designed the Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva, so all you'll need is a free Canva account to open and edit those. That will be linked in my description box. And also in case you just don't have time to design your website, I do offer theme installation. So if you order this Shopify theme along with my theme installation service, I will install this exact Shopify theme into your store and I'll add your logo, your pictures, and just customize it for you. That will be linked in my description box as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're interested in another style of Shopify website, check out this video here on my channel.